Welcome back everyone. As I'm recording this video, it is November 1st and the election is just a couple days away. As such, my Facebook page has been getting blown up asking, what gun should I get before the election? What gun should I get as my first gun? All of those sorts of things. That has been very common um, since March of this year. There's been record numbers of new gun owners throughout America. And right now people are scared of what's to come basically because of all the rioting that we've seen over the past few months and then the unknown of what's come what's uh, upcoming rather with the election. So I picked out five different guns that are a little bit different and preference driven. They're not gonna be in order, but they're gonna be guns that are recommended because they've been in stock basically throughout the entire pandemic and they're not super expensive. They haven't gone up a ton in price, those sorts of things. A new gun owner can afford most of these. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But before we do that, we're gonna get into today's sponsor. Since this video will be immediately demonetized, I want to thank the folks over at Safe Life Defense for sponsoring the video. So they make a number of different items. This is probably their most common one, commonly known item. This is the FRAS, so it's a flexible rifle rated armor system, and it's not super lightweight. It gives you full protection all the way around from uh, M193, M855, 7.62 by 39, all the pistol rounds all of those sorts of things and it's flexible so you can move in it which certainly is nice they also make these little battle belts here which are very popular they make soft armor armor inserts all of those sorts of things are actually running a deal right now on that you guys can see on your screen here is a four payment installation and uh, most of their stuff is actually in stock right now as well which is relatively rare for armor companies additionally code mr guns and gear will get you 10 percent off site wide now let's get on with the video Earlier in the video, I mentioned that these guns have been in stock basically since March at all times, give or take a couple days. And the reason for that is that all of these guns are basically built in house with only really small parts being contracted out. So these companies are able to continue production without having to wait on other companies in the supply chain and those sorts of things. So that's an advantage that some of these companies have or all of these companies have in this case. So I would expect that even after the election, if you're watching this on November 5th or 6th, when there's a very likely a run on guns there will still be stock of these items because they continue to be produced so again these are not in order the first one i want to talk about is going to be the palmetto state armory gf3 ak um you know check out rob over at akou his 5000 round test of this right now this rifle's got definitely over 2000 probably close to 3000 rounds through it the only thing it's had any malfunctions with is some hollow point loads some ak's don't like hollow points for folks that don't know that. Um, but this one come in, comes in with the Magpul furniture right around $750. We have our 4150 nitrided barrel, hammer, for, hammer forged bolt carrier and trunnion. Uh, obviously it's an AK, so your sights are included. You don't need to buy sights. Of course, you can add optics. They have a side rail. You can also add optics up here in your gas tube. But with the Magpul furniture, it gives you the ability to mount lights, accessories, all of those sorts of things. Obviously shoots 7.62 by 3.9, which right now is the cheapest center fire cartridge out there on the market. Generally speaking, if you guys follow me on Facebook, you can find it for 35 cents a round or less pretty commonly. So again, right now when ammo prices are going crazy, this is one you can afford to practice with and train with if you're a new shooter. So obviously the AK system is very reliable. And at this point, I would say the GF3 rifles have proven themselves to be very reliable as well. I don't think I pointed it out already, but all of the guns that we're gonna talk about here today, I have full reviews of on my channel. I'm gonna to try to put the cards up here in the corner that correspond with the gun I'm talking about as I talk about it, but we'll see if I can actually do that in post-production. Regardless, the next gun up is going to be this gun right here. It's the A-Rex Delta. It's a striker-fired gun. It comes with a 15-round and 17-round Mechgar magazine. Mechgar mags, for those that don't know, are fantastic. The gun is roughly Glock 19 size. I apologize if the wind is getting a little bit bad, but we just had a storm here. Um, but surprise approximately Glock 19 size. It's a little bit smaller in every dimension. However, literally every Glock 19 mag, uh, excuse me, holster that I have fits this gun just fine. So if you're looking for holster compatibility, it's there. It has a fantastic trigger. Obviously, like I said, striker fired, but a little bit of a prep, really, really clean break, just under five pounds. Very tactile audible reset. These things have cold hammer forged barrels, very good sights, very usable. It has a blacked out rear white front sight. And right now, these things are coming in at $350 with the code that you guys see here on the screen. Links for all this stuff will either be in the video description or pinned in the video just 
comments uh, so you guys can pick it up. But again, $350 for this gun. Look around the internet. You're not going to see a bad review of it. I mean, the gun just works. A-Rex, for folks that don't know, is a military contractor over in Slovenia. They make tons of guns and have been making them for decades. They have a state-of-the-art factory, like I said, Cold Hammer Forge Barrel. Great QC across the board. And for the price point and the performance of this gun, really hard to beat. And again, they produce them. They're bringing them in every month, all the time. So they are in stock, again, for $350 with the code on your screen. Kind of hard to beat. It looks like the wind's not going to die down, so I threw on a sweatshirt to have another layer to hopefully block it so the audio is not too terrible. All right, moving on with the list. The next one up is going to be the Ruger PC Carbine. So this one right here is a rifle, although it's chambered in 9mm. It comes with a Ruger magazine, a 17-round mag from the factory, and then it also has an adapter to fit Glock magazines, so that way you can run any Glock 9mm magazine, including the 33-rounders like you have here. And this gun's been uber reliable. I actually have two of them. I've never had a single mount function out of them. It comes from the factory, not with this mid-rest handguard. Um, it comes with one that has a little 1913 rail on the bottom, so that way you can add a light or laser or whatever the case may be on there if you want to use it for a defensive gun. And uh, nine millimeters coming out of a 16-inch barrel certainly is no joke. It's a very simple blowback design. Like I said, super reliable. Safety is intuitive. If any of you guys have ever used a Ruger 1022, <laughs> This wind is crazy. If any of you guys have ever used a Ruger 1022, it's basically the same operating system, just beefed up on steroids. It does have a thread protector that comes with it if you want to run a flash hider or silence or anything like that. And this gun is going to be legal where, uh, in a lot of banned states where some of the other guns that I've talked about won't be. So you also have the ability on this one to lock the bolt to the rear and take it down by just doing this. If I could actually do it here on camera. Ah, there you go. So that way you can store it up in a little package, a backpack or anything like that if you want to travel with it. And then of course you put it right back together the exact same way. Through the magic of video editing, we have it all back together and these ones price point wise are not super inexpensive, but again, they're relatively affordable for most folks. Right now, even with panic prices going on, you can find these for under $800. And again, Ruger, very high quality company. They're making most of this in stock, in house rather, so that way they continue to just pump them out and sell a ton of them. You can add optics as you see here if you so choose to, but it has very usable sights. If you don't want or can't add an optic, don't have the money for it, this peep sight right here and a blade front sight. Really super accurate. Check out my review of it. It's a very, very solid gun. Yeah, it's simple. It just works. And again, unlike some of the other carbines that we're going to talk about here, it's going to be legal in a lot of states um, that those wouldn't be. In the beginning of this video, I mentioned that cost is a factor in these choices. Again, none of these guns are going to be above $800 at all. Obviously, if you have more money to spend and you like other options out there on the market, like for instance, if you didn't want to spend $350 on the A-Rex Delta and you wanted to spend $700, sure, I definitely recommend Glocks, I recommend M&Ps, I recommend CZP10s, I recommend FNs, etc. There's a lot of good guns on the market. Again, I'm just trying to give folks an idea of stuff that is affordable and is actually in stock right now before the election. Okay, with that... <laughs> This gun right here, Taurus 856. This is a six shot J-frame size revolver, so it's relatively small. Six shots of 38 special, it is rated for th uh, plus P. This particular one has a uh, steel frame on it, so it's got a little bit of weight to it. The recoil is really not that bad at all. They do make an aluminum version, which I have as well. It's got a little bit more recoil on there. Um, as I say, with any kind of small revolvers, they're reasonably hard to shoot for new shooters. That said, most situations that you find yourself in, you're going to be pretty up close and personal. This one, of course, can be carried very easily if you want to have sort of a dual roll gun, something that you can use for home defense, and then also use for a carry gun. And one thing I know a lot of people like about revolvers is that they're simple. Um, again, like I said, I have two of these. I have reviews up on the channel. I've never had a single issue with them. They just continue to work just fine. The triggers on these are actually not bad. In my opinion, they're better than modern Smith & Wesson J-frames. Um, but I do think the J-frame is a better gun, just to be clear. I'm just saying the trigger on these is a little bit smoother on it. Sights are fixed, so nothing really to go wrong, nothing to fall off. We have our serrated front sight, and then the rear is built in. This one does have a hammer. They make an option without a hammer if you guys don't want to risk it getting snagged. That's it. If you're going to pocket carry a gun with the hammer just kind of a quick tip if you always draw with your thumb on it like that nothing will get snagged just throwing that out there but anyway these guns are very affordable again even right now when prices are through the roof everywhere you can find these for like 325 dollars or less shipped out so affordable gun 38 special there's a lot of people that have defended themselves with 38 special it's certainly not the most powerful round but 
for most situations, six shots of it will definitely get the job done. The last gun on our list is going to be a Radical Firearms AR-15 or RF-15 as they refer to them. So anybody who's watched my reviews on the Radical guns that I've done over the past couple years knows what I'm about to say, but I'm going to reiterate it because this video is going to be reaching a lot of new shooters and new gun owners or potential new gun owners. If you look around for reviews on Radicals, you're going to find that basically prior to 2008, they were trash. Um, they hired a guy to come in and he revamped their entire lineup in terms of quality control, uh, inspection along the way, parts control, parts selection, all of those sorts of things. And Radical in 2020 is a different company than it was before that. And like, like I said, I used to trash them frequently online and they've changed that and that is a good thing. But right now, again, Radical makes almost all of their stuff in house. So they're putting out rifles left and right and you can find uh, different variations of these AR-15s for, for under $600 shipped. So basically they're all gonna have some version of a nitrided mid-length 16 inch barrel. So it's gonna be very soft shooting in that regard. It's gonna have a free floated handguard. Um, so, you know, you're gonna have your MWOC attachment points. This one has some 1913 as well as well rather. They make some slimmer ones, they make larger ones like this, they make some shorter ones. There's different variants out there. Most of them have an ambidextrous safety, which certainly is nice. And most of them are gonna come with either mission first tactical uh, grip and stock like you have here, or it's gonna come with a B5 systems grip and stock. And like I said, right now, as of when you're watching this video, these things are coming in stock and are in stock and shipping out for under $600 shipped. And uh, if you guys watch again, We'll reference Rob Ski. He has a 5,000 round review of a rifle that was made right after this guy came in and changed everything around. And basically I think his cam pin sheared off at like 4,800 rounds. And other than that had no malfunctions um, on my integrally suppressed video, uh, Radical, which is my most recent one. If you guys watched that, that gun's got thousands of rounds through at this point, And I don't think it ever had a single malfunction at all. Um, so right now, as of 2020, if you're on a budget, the Radical guns are very good. Now, if you're not on a budget, another company that's making a ton of stuff in-house and is putting out rifles every single day is Geissele. Their Super Duty rifles are in stock every day. Their pistols are in stock every day, and uh, but they're not cheap. Those are coming in around $1,750. But um, Daniel Defense, also a company that makes a lot of their stuff in-house, they're putting out rifles on their site every day as well. Again, they're not cheap though. They're all pretty much gonna be $1,600 and up. But I think a lot of new shooters are gonna be looking at something a little bit more budget friendly like an AR-15 uh, where magazines are plentiful, optics are plentiful. The one thing right now in 2020 that kind of sucks is the ammo. It's expensive right now um, versus like the AK, for example, it's gonna be roughly double. Um, that said, if you plan on owning it for a long time, those uh, price points will likely come down at some point in years to come. But right now, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen anytime soon. So if you're buying an AR-15, the ammo is gonna be a little bit expensive if you just kind of want to get some training on it. But uh, if you hold out in the future, I'm hopeful that those prices will come down in a few years, but we shall see on that front. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of criticism of my picks down below in the comment section because it's the internet. But again, the criteria was twofold. Number one, not super expensive. Number two, has been in stock since March, pretty much all the time, is easy to operate for a new shooter and will likely be in stock for the next coming weeks as we may see periods of unrest in America. Um, if you're not a gun owner on the fence of purchasing one or not, whether or not you get one of these, I don't really care. However, I do recommend that you get one if you're responsible enough to own one and treat it as the tool that it is and respect it. Um, but it really is your last line of defense. As, as many folks have seen over the last few months during these riots and whatever you want to call them, the police are not responding to crimes. The police are not responding to break-ins, those sorts of things. So you really are your own first responder and trying to fight off people with guns. If you don't have a gun, that's an uphill battle. Having a gun equalizes that power force there. So that's pretty much it guys. If you have questions, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Like I said, there will be links to all these down below in the comment section or in the video description, depending on where you're watching this. And if you're new here and you like this type of video, definitely go ahead and hit subscribe. Apologize about the wind, but it is what it is. We're driving on. Uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, again, please do so. Again, my analytics tell me that only 30% of my viewers actually are subscribers. So go ahead and do that. Regardless, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.